Hello and welcome to WMLT News. I'm Erica Garns. If you are looking for something to do on the Campus Beautiful, look no further. Here's WMLT's Monica Hutchins with this week's edition of Campus Connections. Welcome to Campus Connections, where you can get the scoop on what's going on around campus. Here are a few things to look into. The concert band performance of Godzilla Eats Las Vegas will be Tuesday, February 28th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the main auditorium of the Fine Arts Building. Students come out to Casino Night Wednesday, March 1st from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in subway sides of the Student Center. The Film Society will be showing the movie Omar Thursday, March 2nd from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Friday, March 3rd from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Saturday, March 4th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. in room A237 in Marsh Hall. The movie is free of charge. Star Wars fans, Rogue One will be shown in the subway sides of the Student Center Wednesday, March 8th, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. The movie is free of charge. Now, daylight saving time starts March 12th, so don't forget to spring forward set your clocks one hour earlier. Keep in mind spring break is coming up Monday March 13th to Friday March 17th. Classes will start back on regular schedule Monday March 20th. Thank you for watching Campus Connections. I'm Monica Hutchins. Back to you. On Wednesday, February 15th, the student body and faculty of Concord University were invited to the President's Room in the library to voice their questions and concerns about all things Concord related. Dr. Bacchus explained the purpose behind the coffee, cookies, and conversation meeting that had been organized for the Campus Beautiful. Well, I think that students need to be heard and they need to be able to know that, that we're listening to them. And I'm kind of the conduit to the legislature and I'm really curious about what students are are anxious about or what they would like me to be taking back and forth to the legislature also. President Bogus also explained that the ultimate goal is to reopen communication between the students and faculty so that everyone knows that there is an open door and that there is always someone to talk to about getting the answers to your questions. Typically, there are multiple meet and greets throughout the semester. However, with Dr. Bogus being so busy with the legislature, she was just recently available to speak with the students as she usually does. This is the first meeting that the President Bogus has had with the student body this semester, and there will be more throughout the spring semester for those who missed out on this one. On Thursday, February 9th, Four Pals Production premiered their play entitled The Eleventh Hour in Concord University's Alexander Fine Arts Building. The Eleventh Hour's director Thomas Lester and Four Pals Company manager Skip Crane had this to say about the show. My name is Thomas Lester. I'm the director of The Eleventh Hour. Um, this is a play that started, but it's a Four Pals production. There's four of us that started this production company. And the play is about uh, two churches, a white church and a black church. And it's about, uh, there's, a, there's a, a natural disaster that causes the, the black church to, to be destroyed, so they have to move in with the white church because the two pastors went to seminary school together, so they're friends, so they move in together, they, they move the two congregations in together. And really the whole uh, idea of the play is, is that uh, we're more alike than we are different. It wants to go, you know, because it, like it says, the 11th hour is probably one of the most segregated uh, hours of the, on Sunday because black people go to their church, white people go to their church. So it's all about the two churches combining and seeing that there are lots of people in each church that are very similar. There's two sets of sisters. And a, as the play goes along, you realize that these two sets of sisters are very much alike. Both of them are the, they're like the head people in the church and they uh, are a little bossy and they've ran a lot of the congregation off. And it's about people working together and realizing that we're more alike than we are different. My name is Skip Crane, and I'm the company uh, manager for Four Pals Productions. Uh, we formed our group in 2010. Uh, we have uh, probably, um, we specialize in original productions, and we've probably written six or seven of those. Uh, you met our main director, Thomas Lester. We've had several di other directors for our musicals, and we've done a few of um, mainstream stage plays like um, um, Driving Miss Daisy, and what was the, the Steel, Magnolias. Steel Magnolias, that's the one that everybody really loved. They begged us to do that, so we did that. But uh, We really focus on original plays, 
And I think this play is wonderful. This would be good for any community in America to do this play because it forces you to get up and meet new people and get out of your comfort zone. And I can say from my personal experience, I've been tremendously uplifted just being part of this play because I've experienced what it's to be like from different cultures and to be around different people and get to know different people. And Thomas was exactly right. We are so much more alike than we are different. And it's so easy to love one another. I'm very impressed with the music. The music is wonderful in this show. The message is wonderful. It's just, uh, I'm just really grateful to be part of this. Thank you. February is a very educational and loving month, but it is also important for Concord University's Black Student Union. BSU is a student organization that advocates for black students, uh, but that's not to be confused as being only for black students. One of the things we like to promote most is unity. So the Mojibal is Swahili, meaning unity, so overall the Mojibal is basically unity. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Black Student Union, you can contact James Kemp on Facebook or visit the Black Student Union's Facebook page. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at what some Concord students did this Valentine's Day. Don't go away. WMLT will be back in just a moment. Welcome back to WMLT News. Valentine's Day had Concord's campus head over heels. Though the feeling of love is the same, not everyone celebrated the passionate day the same. WMLT's John Bailey took the time to see what Concord's couples plan to do to spark the love flame. We've been together about eight months next Friday. Yeah, we met on Tinder. Mm -hmm. I super liked her the first day she got here. This Valentine's Day, you know, I took her out to a Red Lobster, had a nice dinner. Decided to go to a movie after that, and then, you know, came back to the room, watched some Netflix, and chilled. After speaking with a younger generation couple, WMLT got the chance to catch up with an older, more experienced couple to ask them how they continue to keep their fire burning. Um, we've been together five years in the law, and we know each other since, like, second grade, so we've known each other pretty much all of our lives. Uh, Valentine's Day, is, for me, is just, like, a day to just specifically appreciate your significant other. Um, like, if in all the craziness of life, it's one day that you make sure that you appreciate your, the other person. This, this year, uh, she had to work on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I was going to about it. So, uh, I just, we made plans to go out to dinner the night after, but I uh, decided to make her a really nice dinner. And surprise me. Flowers and stuff. And she got it was a big instead. surprise. <laughs> As you can tell, the students of Concord had an eventful holiday. And now we're going to take you over to Leah Gilpin for her new segment called Mountain Munchies. Hello, and welcome to Mountain Munchies, where we tell you about unique local restaurants that you may not have heard of. My name is Leah Gilpin and I hope you have a sweet tooth for this one. Today we are going to talk about a new favorite of mine, Cupcake Kisses. Cupcake Kisses is a cupcake shop with over 250 flavors and they are always creating more. Talk about a sugar rush. The cupcakes are made fresh daily and they alternate which flavors are made each day. According to the owners Jessica Johnson and her husband Robert Johnson, they sell out fast. Some of the shocking flavors they have were 
pineapple upside down cake, strawberry cheesecake, rocky road, and many more. That's not all. The cherry on top is they also sell cakes, cinnamon rolls, pepperoni rolls, and other pastries. Many of their customers tend to be repeat customers, and they haven't been given bad reviews. One customer said that the only problem they had with Cupcake Kisses was they keep coming back more than they should. Jessica Johnson has been making cupcakes for six years, but just opened up their shop in October and are planning to expand in the future. According to her website, she came up with the name Cupcake Kisses because every time her child would eat one of her cupcakes, they would give her a kiss. Their cupcakes are sold at $1.75 each. However, prices vary for a custom order. While this may seem a little pricey, they are planning to add in discounts in the future, and they do Facebook drawings on their page at Cupcake Kisses to give customers a chance to win free cupcakes. Cupcake Kisses is located at 1301 Athens Road, Princeton, West Virginia, which is in the Old Crafters Mall where BB's Treasures and the All About You Hair Salon are at. They also open Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can find more information on their website, www.cupcakekisses.net, or by calling 681-282-5560. That's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Mountain Munchies. Back to you, Erica. And now we take you to Ajon Wiley for the roles that move the soul. Thanks, Erica. This is Roles That Move the Soul, and I'm Ajon Wiley, filling in for Portia Thompson. This week, I will be talking about two movies directed by two of the most well-known individuals in the industry, Split and Silence. First, we have the horror movie Split, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. This movie depicts three girls who have been kidnapped and held hostage by Dennis, played by James McAvoy, a man diagnosed with 23 multiple personalities. The three girls must find a way to escape this man before the emergence of the 24th and most dangerous personality with adrenaline pumping action, intensity, and a plot twist that only Shyamalan could think of. This movie is sure to thrill and keep you guessing until the very end. Next, we have the movie Silence, directed by Martin Scorsese. In the film, two Christian missionaries, played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, travel to Japan in search of their missing mentor, played by Liam Neeson, at a time when Christianity was outlawed and their presence was forbidden. The film is a visually striking as it is heartbreaking, full of pulse-pounding drama and suspense that will leave you on the edge of your seat until the credits roll. That is all for this week's Roles That Move the Soul. I'm Ajan Wiley. Back to you, Erica. Thanks, Ajan. That's all for WMLT News this week. I'm Erica Garns. We'll see you in two weeks. <laughs>